Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Brooke if you're new here and today I'm going to be doing another ranking songs video because you guys like my Taylor Swift one so much um, and I had a lot of fun doing it. So this time I'm going to be doing Young Gravy. Now I just recently started to listen to Young Gravy and I know he like just recently started to get like super popular whenever his like um like Betty Get Money song released it was like I feel like that's was like his peak because like before then I didn't really hear much about him like I feel like I did hear some of his songs like before that but I never really paid like much attention to them but I feel like I've heard like snippets of some of his songs before but like I feel like he peaked like when Betty Get Money came out and like his new album which is really good by the way um but yeah I started listening to him like October November 2022 so I just decided it'd be fun to rank all of his songs and I know that's like a different extreme like from Taylor from going to Taylor Swift to Young Gravy but yeah I'll probably be ranking other artists um that I like in the future but yeah I hope you guys enjoy the video and be sure to like comment and subscribe so basically if you didn't watch the Taylor Swift video I will basically be talking about each album and like I'll put my rankings of all the songs on the screen and yeah so the first album is Snow Cougar and I didn't particularly really eh like the songs I didn't really like on this one I mean Mr. Clean is such a top tier song in my opinion I literally love that song that's one of my favorite Young Gravy songs um also why is One Thought Two Thought Red Thought Blue Thought on two albums because it's on this album and I think it's on Sensational so I was like wondering why he put it on two albums if anyone knows that let me know but yeah like i said i didn't really particularly enjoy any of these songs like besides mr clean i mean one thought two thought red thought blue thought is an okay song like i'll listen to it but like it's not like my favorite but i do love mr clean like i said so yeah i don't really have much to say about this album there's only seven songs on it so yeah not like the album i would recommend listening to if you're like just starting to listen to young gravy the next his next album is called sensational and i honestly think this album's like pretty well rounded like it had like some really good bops on it and then there's like some songs that i didn't really particularly like at all but yeah it was hard picking between gravy train and whip a tesla for number one because <laughs> those two songs are just really good in my opinion um but yeah I don't know i don't really know much like about the young gravy fandom like because you know i haven't i haven't been a fan long and like i haven't really like been much involved in his fandom so like i don't really know people's opinions on songs or or whatnot like i know more about the taylor swift fandom obviously because i've been a fan with her literally since fearless came out when i was little so yeah i don't know much about um the young gravy fandom but yeah all i have to say was this album was pretty good for the most part and then next we have Baby Gravy 2. Okay, this album is really weird. Like, I didn't really like really any of the songs on it. And I actually don't think I ever heard any of the songs on it. I, I think Welcome to Chili's was popular at one point, like when it came out. But I didn't, I don't think I ever like really heard it, like before I listened to this. Um, but yeah, none of the songs really like stood out to me that I would really like listen to over and over again and most of the songs i just really did not like at all so yeah this album just like wasn't it for me i really didn't really enjoy most of the songs i mean bands full was pretty good the one i put on number one and my number two was pretty good um the rest of them are just like mid for me but yeah so if you're gonna listen to young gravy this album i don't really recommend that much and then the next album we have is Gasanova and Oops, which is my talk song, was like literally is literally like one of my favorite Young Gravy songs. Um But I actually heard that song like before I started like actually like listening to Young Gravy. I have heard that song before. Um but yeah. So I never really listened to any of the other songs. Like I never really heard any of the other songs on this album, just oops before but um i was actually quite surprised and i actually did like quite a bit of them like i think it was pretty well-rounded like sensational i still feel like sensational was a little bit better than gasanova but i don't know i don't think there was like too many like awful awful songs on it like i feel like it was pretty well-rounded with the songs <laughs> i just realized how fast this video is going compared to the taylor swift song because i literally i don't really have that much to say but 
yeah so marvelous i feel like marvelous is like it honestly surprised me how good of an album was because i do um like two of my top favorite songs fat tub and say la vie are on this album of my two favorite young gravy songs and i love them both so much and then listening to the rest of the album i don't really think i disliked any of the songs on it i thought they were all pretty good um yeah i was kind of pleasantly surprised and then i also listened to strawberries and creaming which is um the new song he came out with for like the dr pepper thing but yeah i gave that a 7.5 out of 10. i thought i would just add that in there and he's actually releasing a new song tomorrow so um if i remember to do a reaction to that i will add it in this video because this video probably won't be posted for like another week and a half so yeah if i remember i'll probably add it in but yeah this album was pretty good i was like actually pleasantly surprised on how much i enjoyed it so yeah last but not least i'm gonna give my final album rankings and my final number one song rankings so my final album rankings are marvelous which is his most recent album sensational Gasanova, Snow Cougar, and then Baby Gravy 2. Honestly, I don't really recommend Snow Cougar or Baby Gravy 2. Well, if you're going to listen to Snow Cougar, just listen to Mr. Clean because that song is so good. But Snow Cougar and Baby Gravy 2, honestly, would never really listen to them. Like I said, just, just Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean is the exception to those because Mr. Clean's a good song. And then my number one song final rankings would be Hot Tub is number one which is from Marvelous, and then Oops, number two, which is from Gasanova, three, Mr. Clean from Snow Cougar, four, Gravy Train from Sensational, and then five, Bansvo from Baby Gravy 2. And yeah, I feel like this video was like super short and like anticlimactic, but like, like I said, I don't know much about the Young Gravy fandom as I do like the Taylor Swift fandom, and I feel like his fandom is like new-ish because I feel like, like he didn't start getting popular until like, you know, like I said, the his new album came out so like yeah but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to like comment subscribe and if you want to see me do any specific artists comment down below and if i like their music then i will absolutely do them i'm thinking about doing ariana grande next maybe because i used to be a big fan of hers and like listen to a lot of her music but then i haven't really listened to much of her music lately so it would be cool to like get like a new refresher and honestly, I hope she comes out with a new album because I know like her last album was really good and that was in like 2020. So that was like almost three years ago because it came out in like November, I think, of 2020. But yeah, so it's been almost three years. Ari, we need a new album. Also, her makeup line's pretty banging. I have a couple products that I use from her makeup line and I really like them, just so you know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.